G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome back aboard the USS Grayling Sturgeon class nuclear attack submarine and well this is a little different to the last mission we have no contacts whatsoever yet we know there's two submarines in here with us so come right to three two eight helm I we may have found We may have actually Helm found right our two, targets. Two, six, nine. Helm I. Let's turn to two six nine. And once we've completed the turn, we'll deploy the total ray. I'm gonna change depth to two hundred feet. Make depth two zero zero feet. Dive by. Let's just be very quiet. So this is uh, this is going to be an interesting one. If these are diesel electrics, these are going to be sneaky bastards. These could be something old. It could also be something fairly modern, like a kilo. Um, if it's a kilo, this is not going to be easy. The kilos are about as close as Russia ever came to developing a cloaking device. These things are nearly invisible in the water, and they're entirely possible that that's what we're after. All right. Con, helm, steady course. Cool. Dropping that tow to ray. Let's see whether or not we can actually hear something. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. One, oh, there we go. Seven, we have a contact. Zero, well, it looks zero, like it's one. not all that far away either. I suspect that's a tango. Con, dive at two zero zero feet, dive by. Huh. Could be a tango. Signature's hard to pick. It all comes down to this defining line, and I think, yeah, that's looking more like a tango, but it's very close to a kilo. I'm going to designate that a Sierra Tango. One is classified as submerged submarine. All right, so current signal is 82%, reading at 13.5 kiloyards. Negative three passive. Reading at 6.9 kiloyards, speed 8 knots, heading 171. 95% solution. So at this point, we pretty much have her confirmed. And there she is. Alright, so obviously an older boat. Still very quiet, only 120 decibels, which means she's quieter than we are. You said 80 torpedoes, test 71 M's. She's got passive, she's got radar, no active sonar. Or at least no active listed. Very shallow test depth. 985 feet maximum. Main reason I'm not working out a plot is she's too close at the moment. Like, she's not going to have the best hearing in the world, but there's no way known. She's missing a shot at 7.1 kiloyards, unless it's really noisy, which. It's 88 decibels, which is better than the previous engagement at seven, around the 70 mark. 
but we also don't have a duct or a thermal layer, so I've got nothing to hide behind for the launch. I'm kind of hoping she'll turn south. What I'm also concerned about at the moment is I can't hear her friends. She fits the bill for what we're after for this mission objective, but the mission specifically listed there would be between two and four targets. We're only detecting one. So I am going to make a... That's all right, I'm making a left-hand turn. At 90 degrees. Come left to one, seven, eight, helm, I. I want to slide into her baffles a little bit faster. As we make a left hand turn, the toad array is actually going to be pulled away from the screw. So we can make a left hand turn with the toad array out perfectly fine. We just can't do it with, we can't make a right hand turn because that will drag the toad array across the screw and damage the toad array and potentially damage the screw as well. So that, it, it's all bad. Everything there is bad. There's nothing good that can come of that. So at the moment we're just ears open for a second submarine. Oh, that's not good. 7.2 and she's at 7 knots so she's listening and she's turning back in our direction. Speed 2. Big turns for 2 knots. Maneuvering eye. Rig ship for ultra quiet. I want silent running. I want 2 knots. We're at 133.6 decibels. We're actually really loud at the moment for some reason. At least we don't have a bottom. If we have to go evasive, we can if necessary, but I'd rather not. Come on, turn left. Turn to port, Tango. There we go, 26.6, .6. we're dropping down a little bit. I'm just going to leave this for the moment and just see if something else pops up. There should be another boat here. There should be another boat here, but we just can't hear it. Con Sonar Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. Alright, second target has been identified. Alright, we've got them both. Yep, we've got two. I don't know if there's a third or a fourth, but we have two. This is our target. So the second target is a Foxtrot, and it was identified the second we detected it. So again, Foxtrot, 125 decibels, so it's quieter than we are. We're being as quiet as we can at the moment at 5 knots. Yeah, this is about as good as we're going to get, I think. We're going to have to fire these torpedoes and get ready to maneuver fast. Thankfully we have moss on board and I'm not afraid to use them because we're going straight to Holy Lock after this because we are out of ordnance. Um, Foxtrot's heading in this direction so there's no real avoiding that. Spread is also unfortunate as well, but we will do what we can, so... Shoot tube 2, aye sir. Shoot tube 3, aye sir. They didn't hear the shots. All right, they did not hear the shots. I was expecting them to hear the shots. We are going to split the torpedoes. This is actually might be a really good thing too. If they did not hear those shots, which I am surprised about, um, these two torpedoes running through the water, if there's any other boats floating around out here, they're going to hear these and they're going to fire on them or they're going to react to them, which will reveal their locations. There's not much we can do about them, 
if they happen to be there, but at least we'll actually know they're there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to making that report if that happens, though. Yeah, I'm sorry, Commander. Uh, the crew of the USS Grayling was unable to complete its mission because we ran out of ammo. All right, the Tango just made a big swing. I think it just detected the torpedoes coming in. Probably should, considering it's only at 7.1 kiliard, just means the torpedo is probably only at three. Torpedo active. And the good part is they're split far enough apart that chances are they shouldn't be able to track the launch point since they missed it so we might actually have them both and we've had no reveal at the moment so we may have just lucked out big time it might just be just the two two torpedoes left and just two targets and then we're right next door to holy lock so we can nick straight in and rearm and hopefully get on with the next mission before we actually miss that one because this is going to be an almost full resupply. Now, I'm really not concerned about these torpedoes Gun, actually control, catching these. Um, the ta these are these are these are older older boats. So, like Tango's top speed, um, 15 knots. That's it. 15 knots is the best you can do. Foxtrot isn't much better. Foxtrot. 1617. Launch transient from Sierra 2. Alright, Sierra 2 just fired on something, God knows what. Alright, Torpedo 2 is reacquired. We don't actually have an acquisition on the torpedoes at all here. Jesus. Torpedoes are struggling to track. Let's go active on both of these. I want to ring the, uh, Alright, Foxtrot fired on the torpedo. Good. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing one, seven, four. And not reacquiring. Sonar, noisemaker bearing. Good passive, one, and nine, it's reacquired. Six. Okay. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Alright, they seem to be tracking. God, these are going to hit almost at the same time. Oh, the, yeah, these are going to be close. It looks like the Foxtrot's going to go first. Impact Foxtrot. Con now, lost and they just take... Oh, Sierra the two, second apart. One. Seven, five, so good. Up. Oh, I'm reasonably impressed with that. I am reasonably impressed with that. There was oh, less than a second, less than a full second in between both of those landing. And no additional fires or anything else. So I have a suspicion that that is all there was. Or I hope so, because... Uh, otherwise I'll have to ask them politely to come to the surface so I can shoot them with anti-ship missiles, because I've got nothing left. This mod does some weird stuff every now and again. Anyways, we have two targets down. One Tango, one Foxtrot. We didn't detect anything else even while we're waiting around, and we are out of Mark 48. So, crew, crew proficiency has increased. That is fantastic news. And let's see whether or not that was actually the mission objective. And yes, this was the elusive submarines that were after. Outstanding job eliminating the threat from that wolf pack. Your contributions will help shorten this war and keep our people safe. New orders coming on this downlink soon. All right, so we should have a news report now. Yes, we do. Supplies getting to troops. A modest amount of fresh supplies and equipment have begun to reach the front lines and ground forces. I think we've read this one before. 
Some analysts were surprised at the Soviet losses. Yeah, this is definitely one we've read before because I made the joke about uh, only if they haven't seen you know Ukraine in 2022. Um, okay, so that's it. New mission, return immediately to Holy Lock, Scotland for repairs and to replenish stores. All right, so at least they know we're out of rounds, which is good, or out of torpedoes, rather. Commander Hugh Jars, USS Grayling, SSN 646, days at war 32, missions accomplished 13, land strikes zero, insertions, oh, insertions zero, capital ships sunk one, other warships sunk 21, submarines sunk 30, merchants sunk five for 57 total, 7,500 in capital ship tonnage, 85,150 in other warships tonnage, 144,960 tons of submarines on the bottom, 46,000, a little over 46,000 in merchant tonnage for 284,290 tons on the bottom, four medals, Patrol outcome. As your XO declares the ship safe and secured at port, time has come to announce to the crew. This is the captain speaking. My salutes to you all. We sure have done well this time. Your commanding officer would just like to say this. It's an honor sailing with you all. Now enjoy your time ashore. Yes, just the few hours that you'll have. I suggest going to the bar, getting drunk, and getting laid because we are. You're not going to have much time to go visit anybody. Alright, so enemy submarines are attempting to transit through the Denmark Strait on order to attack vital convoys and the North Atlantic convoys. You must sink them, so we're going to go to Green 312. Once we've, uh, we've done five hours for resupply, we have no repairs to do, but we do need to rearm. So, three torpedoes loaded. Now, I don't think it takes any time to do this. Nope. Cool. So torpedo tubes loaded, so everything else is fine. One MOS loaded, two spares, four missiles. Now it's just straight torpedo load. Okay, so 13 and 3 for 13 hours in port, fully stocked. Cast off anchors away. So we didn't even hit our patrol area before we ran into an enemy submarine. We have no details on exactly what they are, no location on targets at this point in time. They were just outside of Holy Lock, so we've only been back at sea for about four hours total on transit. Just enough to get clear of the, uh, the northern sections of the UK. And we have no idea where it is. We've got no tote array. Oh, this isn't good. No tote array. Uh, sorry, we've got no thermal layer, no duct. And it's 107 decibels in the water. We want to hope whatever it is is loud. I keep the tote array deployed. This might take a while to find anything. Although with this much noise in the water and this little idea on exactly where the target might be, it might actually pay this time around to be aggressive. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be aggressive. We're gonna go active. So current depth, we're at 150 feet. Countermeasures are ready to deploy. I want to know where this guy is. Where is he? Let's go active. Con sonar, switching to active search. We're in our home waters. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Zero, three, five. Designated Sierra, one. Uh, 
active ping return. Not a lot of information on it at this time. Could be a diesel electric. Could be anything including a Sierra. It's not an Alpha, we know that much. It's not an Echo 2. Don't think it's a Charlie. Could be a Victor 1. Let's close the toad array. Come right to zero seven four Helm I. Oh. Come right to. One, one, Turn the sturgeon five, sideways so it gets the total rate and get a better look at this. We've barely got a report on this. We know it's there, but that's all we know about it. Do I even know a depth? No, no depth. turn faster it's heading towards us whatever it is which isn't helping because the other thing is we identify enemy submarines by the sound they make in the water and the majority of that sound it's a combination of reactor noise and the combination of the sound of the screw that's you know there's, there's a few other things to it but in its most basic form that's what you're listening for it's a the, the acoustics of a submarine that you're trying to track in the water are based on the power plant the sounds that the power plant make that are unable to be shielded and are, and are heard regardless of what submarine it is they do make noise in the water and the sound of the screw different screws make different sounds con helm steady cool. course right, let's get that total ray back out now the problem is when a submarine's heading directly towards you the very same baffles that it uses to shield itself, its own sensors from its own reactor and its own screw, will also work as a shield against you trying to listen to them. There is some ambient noise that radiates out, but direct sound coming from the reactor and the screw to your submarine and your passive microphones is blocked by the baffles. So a target heading directly towards you is harder to get a good pickup on. See, now we've we've redeployed the toad array. On sonar, new contact bearing zero eight one. Designated we have a second zero, target. Two. We have a second target that we can actually hear better than we can the first target. Details, nothing. thinking probably a civilian ship. Surface ship, most likely. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a merchant. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as merchant. Yeah, that is a merchant. And we still can't detect Sierra 1 again. Want to give it another ping? Con sonar, switching to active search. Sierra 1 is detected again. On sonar, Twelve switching one. to passive search. Go passive. 
the 10 knots. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is cavitating. It's looking like a November. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Shoot two one, aye sir. Yep, that is in November. Um, I'm in a hold depth. I'm not going to dive just yet. Where is our bottom? It hasn't fired back on us and was ex was accelerating there for a moment. It's possible it didn't hear the launch. Although it is in November, so it's not exactly what I consider a major threat. This is more a tow rag that just happened to get in our way. Actually, it's really possible that it didn't hear the launch. It's 107 decibels in the water, which means ambient noise is very close to the sound that we would make, uh, very close to the sound of our transients. Or high enough that they've got to be ridiculously close, even with good sonar equipment, to hear it. So yeah, it's entirely possible it has no idea this torpedo is coming. It can't hear it at all. November's... Actually, I think November's sonar equipment isn't terrible by Soviet standards, but it is by Soviet standards. Regardless, in this much noise in the water, it's, uh... I won't call it deaf as a post. But being Soviet is not helping it any here. It's going to hear the torpedo in a second, though. We're getting close enough. At this point, you know, rough estimate. We're about three kilo yards out. So it's going to hear this torpedo soon. Confirmation on Sierra 2 being a merchant. Right, crossing the torpedo over to get to the, no the November's lead. Depth is still the same, it hasn't changed. Target's still holding five knots at 3.8 kilo yard. That's got to be damn near close enough. That's, this is close. All right. Going active on the torpedoes. Still no fire from the November. This is strange. I would have expected a shot by now. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. This is very strange. It's like it's trying to hide. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero. Zero, six. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, zero, zero, five. Contact breaking up. Well, I guess it did see the torpedo in the end, but, uh, not quite soon enough. Alright, after action report, November sunk, 4,750 tons added, we have 15 Mark 48s remaining on board, and no damage. So, that was really easy. He had no idea what was happening until the very last second, and by then, it was just too late. 
Unfortunately, this was not your current mission target. Yet we knew that was going to be the case, because we're not even in the zone yet. But that's alright, we are on our way there, and we still have 15 torpedoes remaining. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel in the very near future, and until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.